Hello everyone, it is Charlie and I just wanted to kind of intro this video. First of all, thank you for being here, I'm so excited. First thing that I wanted to share with you guys is my children. Make sure we get them all in here. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is we are going to be explaining my skincare journey and how I got into using CeraVe and all things skin. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. It should be super fun. It was super fun for me to film, like think back to middle school when I like started using CeraVe or like, yeah, like sixth grade. That was a long time ago. That was super cool. Okay, have fun watching. Thank you. Good morning. I have a photo shoot today. So for this little lovely morning, we're gonna do some skincare. So first I use the foaming facial cleanser. Next, I'm using the Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I love CeraVe because it's just like very simple. Like I don't have to worry about doing this twice a week and can't do this too much. It's not harsh on my skin. It doesn't have harsh chemicals. And now I'm going on to the Facial Moisturizing Lotion. This one has SPF in it, which is great because no matter how young you are, it's important to start using SPF now. So now that my morning skincare routine is all done, my face feels amazing as per usual after I use these products. My pores don't feel clogged. My face feels smooth and clean and dewy. It's super easy to find. I promise you, I took home these travel size little CeraVe bottles from the dermatologist and ever since I could just go to any store and find it and find the products that I like. They're super affordable and they really are great quality. From the bottom of my heart, like I'm telling you this, they are the best thing that I have used to be able to clear my skin. Okay, so now that my face is all clean, I have some content that I'm going to be shooting today. First things first, I am a person that washes their hair every day, but I got extensions, which means that I could not wash my hair last night. So we are going to see the magic of dry shampoo. Okay. And then we are going to work that into my hair. Oh, now I'm gonna get started on my makeup. So for these videos that I'm going to be doing right now, I'm mostly just kind of going to like use some concealer because my under eye bags decided to just be there today for some odd reason. And I also have a shoot later today, so this I don't want to put on too much makeup, you know, that I'm going to just have to like take off, does that make sense? So that's what we have so far. Um, I am going to use a little bit of bronzer to kind of define those cheekbones. It's very important really sculpt the face. So now that I am done with that, we're gonna add some blush, which is always my favorite part of the day. And then we are going to blend that out. And then for the last step, is the lashes. So my lashes usually take me the most time because I don't like it when they look clumpy at all or anything like that. So I spend a lot of time brushing through them between every step. You get a little mirror and you wanna make sure that you curl all of your lashes. Sometimes I miss some on the outside and they're like facing downwards. So you wanna make sure when you curl them, you focus on like the outside corner and really make sure that you have all of them. Like you see, I missed one, you probably can't see. And then brush through them. 
to make sure that they're not in any little clumps like that and then I'm going to use my first mascara on just the tips of my lashes and this adds some length and you're gonna make sure you do it on each lash like add a little bit of length on every one but really you're just focusing on the top and then like throughout the middle in case you got any of that you're just gonna want to brush through so there's no little clumpies and then I go in with my second mascara and this one's a little bit lighter so you can go from like the root of your lashes all the way to the top and then go over where you went with the last one and then before it dries just brush through those again make sure that there aren't any little clumps like that And that's what my lashes look like when they're all done. I don't have that much time before I start shooting, which means that we have to kind of work fast. So what I'm going to do is just section my hair off on this side first and just do a few little waves. on each side like that so I'm going to finish curling my hair and then I will get back to you guys with the results okay so I finished curling my hair and I actually really like the way it turned out I don't know I think it's cute but now I'm going to go film some content so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Um, and if you want to know anything else, make sure you ask questions in the comments and I will love to answer them for you. Bye guys.